morning, good morning, good morning. Another great day again, students. Welcome to Arts Quarter 1, Lesson 4. So let's start the day ahead. A little progress each day adds up to big results. Let's have a review about our past lesson. A kind of abstractionism art where no recognizable subject could be seen. Is it A. Abstract Expressionism, Pure Abstractionism, Representational Abstractionism, or Non-Objectivism? The answer is letter B, Pure Abstractionism. Number two. A style that uses a three-dimensional geometric figure and is composed of planes, lines, and angles. Is it A. Cubism, B. Futurism, C. Mechanical style, or D. Non-objectivism? Did you answer A, Cubism? That is correct. Number three, in this style, basic forms like planes, cones, spheres, and cylinders all fit together precisely and neatly in their appointed places. A, Cubism, B, Futurism, C, Mechanical Style, or D, Non-Objectivism. Very good. It is mechanical style. Number four, an art that made use of the commonplace, trivial, even nonsensical objects. Is it A. Abstract Expressionism, B. Conceptual Art, C. Op Art, or D. Op Art? If your answer is letter D, pop art, you are right. Number five question in this art, lines, spaces, and colors were precisely planned and positioned to give the illusion of movement. A. Abstract Expressionism B. Conceptual Art C. Op Art or letter D. Pop Art The answer is letter C, of art. Did you get all the correct answers? Congratulations! Let us now proceed to our new lesson. 20th century also saw the rise from the traditional ones of painting and sculpture. Contemporary art forms refers to art made and produced by artists living today. Artists work in and respond to global environment that is culturally diverse, technologically and advancing, and multifaceted. So, ibig sabihin, nagkaroon na ng iba't ibang klase ang arts. So, from here, contemporary art forms started. Among these were installation art and performance art. Installation art is a contemporary art form that uses sculpture materials and other media to modify the way the viewer experiences a particular space. They are usually life-size or sometimes even larger. Installation art is not necessarily confined to gallery spaces. It could be constructed or positioned in everyday public or private spaces, both indoor and outdoor. 
Essentially, installation art creates an entire sensory experience for the viewer. Many installations are of a size and a structure that the viewer can actually walk through and experience varying facets of the work in stages. Some works allow the viewers to touch or feel, hear, and smell elements that the artist has incorporated in the installation. Thus, there is a strong parallel between installation art and theater. Both play to an audience that is expected to interact with and be afflicted by the sensory experience that surrounds them.
installation artist manipulation of space and materials has also been called environmental art, project art, or temporary art. So even here in the Philippines, marami na rin pong gumagawa ng installation art. If you can remember, itong floating umbrella, ginawa po ito dito sa mismong municipality natin sa Bugalyon. So yung mga empty spaces na makikita natin na dating hindi interesting, naging interesting siya dahil sa installation na ginawa ng mga artists. So next is the performance art. Performance art is a form of modern art in which the actions of an individual or a group at a particular place in a particular time constitute the work. It can happen anywhere, at any time, or for any length of time. It can be any situation that involves the four basic elements. These are time, space, the performer's body, and the relationship between performer and audience. Performance art does include such activities as theater, dance, music, mime, juggling, and gymnastics. However, the term is usually reserved for more unexpected, avant-garde, and unorthodox activities intended to capture the audience's attention. The performer himself or herself is the artist rather than an actor playing a character as in a stage play. The performance venue may range from an art gallery or museum to a theater, cafe, bar, or street corner. The performance itself rarely follows a traditional storyline or plot. It might be a series of intimate gestures, a grand theatrical act, or the performer remaining totally still. It may last for just a few minutes or extend for several hours. It may be based on a written script or spontaneously improvised as the performance unfolds. So pag sinabi kasi natin performance, ang nasa isip agad natin is theater, dance, uh, singing, gymnastics, ballet, ganon. Pero dito po sa uh, performance arts na pinapakita natin, this is not the traditional way of performing. So dito, the performance itself rarely follows traditional story or plot. Wala siyang lyrics, wala siyang script na sinusundan. So, ang ginagawa nila, they just perform, and then kung ano yung gusto nilang iparating sa audience, yun po yung ginagawa nila. Okay, so this time guys, heto po yung magiging activity ninyo. So, what are you going to do is, choose what contemporary art are you going to do. Is it A, installation art, or B, performance art? So, anong gagawin dyan? You're going to record your performance. Don't forget to include your name and section at the end of the video. A minimum of 1 minute and a maximum of 3 minutes is given for each video. Okay, so magbibigay po ako ng mga example ng installation arts na pwede pong gawin. Tapos, ganun din po sa performance arts. So, may mga videos po ako na isi-send sa inyong mga presidents or yung mga nagda-download ng videos. Pwede ninyo itong gayahin or kung may maisip kayo na mas magandang idea, then go for it. Thank you and God bless everyone.